The new CS2 update from the 28th of October 2024 looks more innocent than the patch notes might reveal. Initially, the update completely broke the surf game mode, but they introduced a command as a band-aid fix to revert to the semi-broken state it was before. But the update also patched multiple methods of bypassing the CL, allow multi-input zero setting. This removed the config-based jump throw and movement binds, which we have recreated after the patch of the 19th of August. I came up with another version for D sub tick jump throw and W jump throw binds, which make use of the radial radio commands. It's a quality of life downgrade though, as these only trigger on key bind release. D sub tick movement binds, including jump for better bunny hopping, are still available though. You can find both of them as working features in the CS AFAB config package on my Discord. The third major change that this CS2 update brought is improved jump height consistency. This seems like a good change, as jumping on high objects works consistently now, but it also worked with D-subtic movement binds, which Valve constantly tries to take away from us. Also, this change to the jumping mechanic altered the trajectory of jump thrown grenades and therefore breaks a lot of already well-established Metasmoke lineups. Initially for this video, I wanted to show solutions to all the broken lineups, but Valve devs seem interested in fixing this issue, so here you can see a comparison of the trajectories instead. We can see that for the yellow line, indicating the new patch, the smokes fly a slightly higher arch than on the old patch, which is shown as the blue trajectory. The same is also true for W jump throws. Let's hope Valve can fix it, so we don't have to relearn all those lineups.